One of the bills that we know is headed to the governor's desk would abolish community oversight boards here in Tennessee. News Channel 5's Araceli Crescencio spoke with the executive director of Nashville COB, who says this legislation that reverses the will of thousands of people. In 2018, more than 134,000 people in Davidson County voted to create a community oversight board that would have the power to investigate claims of police misconduct independently. But with a vote of 67 to 19 on the House floor Thursday, state lawmakers voted to disband all civilian-led COBs in the state. Bill 591 and receiving constitutional majority are by clear pass by objection to most recess table. The bill was met with pushback and even led to the arrest of a grandmother. After making repeated outbursts, Speaker Cameron Sexton asked troopers to remove Michelle Flynn from the gallery. She calmly walked out, but then was told she had to leave the Capitol completely. The speaker said to leave the chambers, which is what I did peacefully. And at that point, they said, if you don't leave with us, you'll be put under arrest. She said she felt she had to speak up after seeing the state keep pushing legislation, taking power away from Nashville voters. Metro Council they're trying to cut, they're trying to, to, to take the power away of our boards across the, across the city. So many of us are very disturbed. It's a vote that Executive Director of Nashville COB says sets a dangerous precedent and reverts the system to the way things used to be when police departments investigated their own officers. We would just basically review complaints um, and then pass them over to uh, the police department. So we would do an, we basically would be a glorified intake system. Nashville's creation of a COB came after shootings of black men at the hands of police. With all of the issues that we've had in Nashville, Knoxville, um, and in Memphis, especially after the Tyree Nichols, by the way, who just, you know, died, what, 90 days ago, um, to, to have such a, a big move to undo oversight, uh, it's very troubling. And they're just Governor Bill Lee to veto it. In Nashville, Araceli Crescencio, News Channel 5. Thanks, Araceli. And we have full coverage online of everything that's happened this session. You can see it all now on newschannel5.com. We also have the full kind of wrap-up news conferences the Democrats and Republicans held tonight. They're posted on our Facebook page.